Good evening, everybody. I'm going to uh, be sagging into a song in a little bit. Um, spent most of the weekend trying to figure out how to uh, how to record this song, and uh, you know, it's 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 a difficult process when you're when you're deaf. Um, you know, the cochlear implants. I have a shot. You know, so uh, not sure how it's going to you know sound to people who actually hear normal things, but um, it's done. Well, I want to give you a background on it. The name of the song is is Keystone Girl. Um, it's, it's not really about Pennsylvania, but we live in Plains Township. It's a little uh, township in Luzerne County, and we're in the Keystone section. That's uh, where my wife was living uh, when I met her, where she lived for most of her life, and where I've lived since we got married. And um, I realized one night before I went to bed, I said, I never wrote, I never wrote Annie a song, you know, because I think if you have the capability, um, you should write your wife a song. Um, I just think it, it's something that should be in the manual someplace. You know, you'll fix this, you'll do this, you'll do that, and you'll write a song. You know, with an asterisk. You know, because if you don't, if you're not musically inclined, you have to do something else like build her a cabinet or something. And I'm not inclined to that. So I said to myself, I never wrote this woman a song. And during the night, as I slept, the little man on the flaming pie, he's the guy that visited John Lennon and said, thou shalt be Beatles with an A. Um, he, I guess, was flying through Pennsylvania, stopped in at my place while I slept, dropped the song on my lap. I got up in the morning and asked to gosh, it was essentially written. I really didn't have to do any work. It was all there. And I polished it up, went and played it for my wife. And she said, what's, what's it called? And I said, Keystone Girl. Well, here's the problem with that. We live... Uh, right around the corner from um, harness racing track. So she said, you named that song after a horse. You wrote a song for a horse. You didn't write that song for me. You wrote it for a horse. Hated the song. So I uh, never did anything with it. Well, a couple of weeks ago, that little man on the flaming pie, I guess, was passing through again. And he said, hey, Bozo, I, I gave you a gift some years ago. Do something with it. So um, coming up next, uh, there's your intro. Coming up next is Keystone Girl. And I do apologize for the grizzled look. Now, then again, I don't. I had a really rough weekend. I worked really hard. And you know what? I feel grizzly. So there you go. I'm grizzled. Enjoy the song. Keystone Girl. I said, baby, you got me feeling so high. Well, my feet can't even touch the ground. I kiss the blues goodbye. My, my, I'm thanking the stars are done for sending me this wonderful love. And I just can't get enough, my Keystone girl. Ever since I met you, there's been nothing but blue, blue skies. No more dark gray clouds raining rain on me. Oh my, it's something everybody can see. Something good has come over me. I'm in love and I'll always be with my Keystone girl. Well, I fell, 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 fell in love. I fell, 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 fell in love. I fell, fell, fell. Keystone Girl I said, baby You got me feeling so high Well, my feet aren't even on the ground I've kissed the blues goodbye My, my, I'm thanking the stars above For sending me a perfect love And I'm never gonna get Keystone girl, my little Keystone girl, my little Keystone girl, my little Keystone girl. We'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you. Or his office would say thank you. Thank you very much.